Okay folks, now then I should have, I've got to go back in now and get the name of this site. Yeah folks, we're on East, East Slade Farm, on, uh, in East Coker, uh, just a, a few miles outside Yeovil, yeah, and this is where we are, it's uh, Motorhome and Caravan Club CL, and it's £16 a night with a hookup, and we're on a hard standing. There you can see. And um, there's a, a farm shop on here, which is very nice. Pat loves it. Um, I'll show you it. There's the entrance in there, off the lane. Goose, Goose Slade Farm Shop. There, there's the shop there. It's a lovely shop. Um, I won't go in, there's too many people about. They've got a storage yard here. They're all in storage and caravans. Elson's in there. We're here for three days. We arrived yesterday. We've come to a little village called East Coker, which is more or less just down the road from uh, where, where we're camped on that little site. And look at these beautiful almshouses here. A lovely pretty village this. Absolutely lovely. Wow. We're admiring this field, a meadow with these trees. That, tree. Massive trees, it must be hundreds of years old. These trees in this meadow. Green. Talk about a green and pleasant land. This is the church in East Corker. And it's a corker. So what's, what's that there? We're thinking that um, T.S. Eliot might be buried in this churchyard. They've got this plaque to him and his wife here. Uh, there's a picture of him there. If you can see well enough. Guy yeah. here, Captain Dampier. He rescued, he was a... Um, a um, sailor, well it was a pirate and he rescued the real original Robinson Crusoe he found him on the island wherever that was and there's T.S. Eliot who was born in where? Uh, St. Louis, Saint, Missouri St. Louis, Missouri T.S. Eliot was born but his, his ashes are interned in that church we've just been in Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more information about that Captain Dampier there if you want to read it. He sounded like an amazing bloke. With the pretty pat in the picture. Very nice. Pretty pub. 
Now this is Chapel Cottage. Of course it is a chapel. Mm. Being a chapel. Strock. Yeah, yeah. Strock yeah. Cottage. Wow, they're steep gables, huh? look yeah. at them. Is that a new what? one? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I've never seen, what do they call them? Dormers. Dormers, yeah. You just have the feeling in this place there's something interesting just around the next corner. Yeah, room. yeah. <laughs> You've seen dormers like that on them. Yeah, they're almost like yeah. a Swiss chalet or something. Don't yeah. They? Good evening, folks. I want to thank you for doing that poll that I set this morning, um, asking you about this trip to to Dorset. We, it's been different because John and Edith. Have been with us every day and they've been arriving on a morning and we've been going off and they've been driving us all over Dorset so well um, obviously the there's not been time to do our usual chats so it, it has been different that's why I asked you um, in that poll um, seems as though the majority have you liked all of those videos um, the travel videos thank you um, been to some nice places uh, t -t tomorrow is the last day so I'm making this little video now to explain what's happening that tomorrow John and Edith are coming again and we're going off again. We, we, today we had a picnic here. Pat made some lovely food, which she got from this farm shop here. Nice stuff. And um, we all had a lovely picnic here. It's been a lovely day again. And then we went for a ride and we called in at that pub in that little village. Um, beautiful village, East Coker. I had ordered some tape um, to do the, uh, a temporary repair on this skylight and I was going to get it get it delivered to West Corker uh, post office but he took me there today to find see where it was and there's absolutely nowhere to put a, a motor home in that village it's too small so I've cancelled the order I'm going to have to reorder it again when I'm when I can pick it up somewhere where I can park. Um, and then tomorrow, John and Edith are coming again. We're going off uh, again for the day. So you'll get this video together with what I recorded today. Um, that'll be tomorrow. Um, and then whatever I record tomorrow will be for the following day. And then we're moving again. And then we're moving into Devon. Um, so we're too far away from John and Edith. So that'll be the last time we see John and Edith until we come back again. Um, and it's been a real, Pat, I think, we thoroughly, I know Pat has, and I have thoroughly enjoyed um, this week with Pat and uh, with John and Edith, haven't we, Pat? Lovely, yeah. It's been lovely. And we've been to some places we would never ever have known about. Um, and John said he's he's seen places in Dorset that he would never have discovered had it not been for us coming down. 
so it's worked both ways so that's good um yeah so once we we get moved into devon i would imagine things will return to our usual routine of doing a chat reading a letter and, and doing a bit a bit of filming of the site and where uh, you know we wherever we can walk to from there okay so i thought i'd just uh give you an update so um see you tomorrow all being well bye